Hey guys, it's so great to be back with you, uh, sharing some info with you guys to help you become better communicators. And today we're going to talk about making first impressions, a good way to make a first impression. I had a friend back in high school who was great at making friends with people. He uh, made amazing first impressions and just, people, whenever they saw him, they just lit up like a kid um, in, on Christmas day, seeing all the presents and all the gifts under the tree and just, oh my gosh, it's so great, I'm so excited. That's people, every single time they saw him, that's what they acted like. So the expression we wear on one's face is far more important than the clothes one wears on their back. So. That being said, have you guys ever, uh, you know, looked at a baby and just been so happy because that baby is smiling? I know you have. I have too. And a lot of other people I've seen have as well. All my friends, every single time they see baby, especially the girls, they just light up with joy and happiness. And it's, uh, it's a sight to see, you know, how powerful and magical the effect of a smile is. We want to make a good first impression, and the way to do that is we want to get the goodwill of other people. We want to make people think sincerely, of course, that we're out to do good and that them coming to us and becoming our friends is a good thing for both of us. And uh, a smile is a great messenger of goodwill. It uh, tells people that you're likable, that you're a good person to be around. However, an insincere smile, guys, is not going to do you any good. It's um, a, a smile that looks fake. It's just going to make people resent you and not want to be around you and see you as someone that isn't being real. We don't want that. A uh, smile affects the tone of our voice, how we come across when we talk to people. Um, a lot of telephone companies, when they uh, train their employees, they tell them that they must smile while they're talking on the phone because it comes across in their voices them being more happy when they're dealing with customers and customers love that. They want to call back and talk to these people because they seem more happy. Some days, guys, I just do not feel like smiling. I'm having a, a bad day, man. It's just, it's not good. And I, the last thing I want to do is just smile at somebody. But it'll pay off in the end, I promise you guys. Force yourselves to smile even when you don't feel like it. And it'll pay back tenfold, okay? I'm telling you. Um, emotions follow action. So even if you have to fake it to make it, like my good friend Boogie2988 would say, um, do it because you will be happier eventually if you're smiling a lot. I mean, every single time that I have frowned for long periods of time, I mean, try doing it. It just makes me depressed. It'll make you guys depressed if you're constantly frowning. So smiling more will make you happier. Holy crap, I'm wearing a different shirt. Okay, there's one more thing I wanted to add, guys, that um, is really important and hopefully hits the message home about how uh, important smiling is to do as much as possible. You know, smile at just strangers even. You know, smile at your friends, of course. Smile at anyone you pass walking down the street. Smile at your professors if you're in school, your co-workers, and I promise it'll brighten your life, of uh, your life as well as the um, lives of other people. Um, and this really hits home this message, uh, that message I just said. Um, it's a little philosophy that was actually added by a uh, uh, New York department store um, to its uh, uh, customers during the Christmas season. Uh, so listen to this, tell me what you think. So, it costs nothing but creates much. It enriches those who receive without impoverishing those who give. It happens in a flash and in the memory of it sometimes lasts forever. None are so rich that they can get along without it, and none so poor but are richer for its benefits. It creates happiness in the home, fosters goodwill in a business, and is the countersign of friends. It is the rest of the weary, daylight to the discouraged, sunshine to the sad, and nature's best antidote for trouble. Yet it cannot be bought, begged, borrowed, or stolen, for it is something that is no earthly good to anybody till it is given away. And if in the last minute rush of Christmas buying, some of our salespeople should be too tired to give you a smile, may we ask you leave one of ours? Or excuse me, one of yours? For nobody needs a smile so much as those who have none left to give. So guys, smile. See you next week.